Hello everyone, I am Mariela Pernillosa and for today we will talk about socio-emotional literacy within digital literacy. Due to the unlimited use of technology, a lot of people enjoy it. Like us, diba? Enjoy na enjoy tayo sa internet and technology. But some use it as a material to fool others. Kaya minsan, hindi natin maiwasan makatanong like, Kaya talaga itong kausap ko. Is this legit? If I donate via online, makukulong kaya sa kanila to? Pag binuksan ko ba tong file na to or ang email na to ay may virus? Such question should make us realize that there's no hard or fast rules for determining the answers. And like Eshet Alkali said, there is a necessary familiarity with unwritten rules of cyberspace, an understanding that while the internet is a global village of sorts, it is also a global jungle of human communication, embracing everything from truth to falsehood, honesty, and deceit, and ultimately good and evil. Kaya nga katulad ng palaging sinasabi sa atin, hindi lahat ng nakikita natin sa internet ay totoo because some are false and deceitful. That's why socio-emotional literacy require us to be very critical, analytical, and mature. Critical or we should be critical before believing an information, especially from social media, to prevent misconceptions and misunderstanding. Analytical or we should first check or look for facts before believing and deciding to or to prove it first and socio-emotional literacy requires us also to be mature. Digital literate users know how to avoid traps as well as derive benefits from the advantages of digital communication. It involves sociological and emotional aspects of works in cyberspace. Or alam ng isang taong digital literate kung paanong may iwasan ang mabigtag ng mga maling information o mga manluloko. At alam din niya ang benefits and advantages nito. Now, how does socio-emotional literacy helps us as we engage in cyberspace? So, we have here five on how the socio-emotional literacy helps us. Una, it helps us to share formal knowledge. Second, it helps us to share emotions by means of digital communication, such as using emoticons or emojis. Now we share what we feel through those emoticons. And diba, nagkakaintindihan tayo through those emoticons. Number three, it helps us to have empathy towards each other. Diba? Sociological and emotional eh. Kaya alam natin how to give empathy when someone posts a sad picture, diba? We react sad. Or kapag ka merong mga namatayan, we comment condolences. Or kapag ka may nakita tayo na humihingi na tulong through internet or through social media. Diba? Hindi man natin ma-help uh, through financially or um, hindi man tayo makapunta sa kanila. We share it diba? para marami yung makakita. So yun. It helps us to have empathy towards each other. Number four, it helps us to collaborate. And number five, it helps us to identify pretentious people in chat rooms and avoid internet traps, such as malicious internet viruses. Katulad ng sabi ko kanina, socio-emotional literate users requires to be very critical, analytical, and mature. Kaya naman, it helps us to avoid traps or nagiging mapagmatsyag tayo, nagiging wise, nagiging critical sa mga traps. Yan, we look only for facts. Now, how to avoid fake information. So, we have here five things to do kung paano nga ba natin ma-avoid ang mga fake information. First, check what outlet publish it. Huwag lang copy and paste. Check it first kung legit. Then next, check the publish date and time. Baka sobrang tagal na pala nun and hindi na siya applicable for now. Number three, look at what links and resources have been used. Four, scan the picture 
if it's edited or not. So, sobrang unlimited ng technology. Napakadali na lang natin ngayon mag-edit. No? Kaya maraming naluloko. Kaya naman, to avoid fake information, scan first the picture if it's edited or not. Number five, search in the Google for confirmation. Number six, think before you share. Mag-isip muna tayo bago natin i-share. Let's be critical, analytical, and mature before sharing a post or an information. So that's all my report. It's about social-emotional literacy within digital literacy.